The ISO SAE 21434 is a relatively new document. Please keep in mind a standard is not mandatory to follow. Nevertheless, it provides justification that you adopted the state-of-the-art principles and thus serves as rational in case of an incident or a hack. The activities to develop the ISO SAE 21434 are mainly driven by the market needs and the trends impacting the security of the vehicle. Before the ISO SAE 21434 was developed, there was no standardized common understanding of cybersecurity notions linked to the automotive industry. The target of the standard is to provide a common and international understanding feasible for automotive cybersecurity. Furthermore, there was an uncertainty regarding the security level and avoidance of communication on cybersecurity. Even the ISO SAE 21434 provides only a set of requirements. It covers the most important ones in terms of cybersecurity engineering processes and activities. Many companies tried to ensure security of their product by traditional IT security management processes. However, these are not feasible for the automotive industry. Thus, the standard describes state-of-the-art security engineering principles. Some of you might ask themselves, but how about the SAE J3061? For those who are not aware, the SAE J3061 was the first approach to prepare a reference document for automotive cybersecurity. Anyway, the J3061 is de facto no standard and only a guidebook. Furthermore, it misses its common international breadth. Compared to the ISO SAE 21434, the J3061 is mostly running text with few actual requirements. With the first draft release of the ISO SAE 21434 back in February 2020, the standard superseded the J3061.